So finally, let's compare the properties of different cutting tool materials. So we discussed high speed steels, uncoated carbides, coated carbides, ceramics, uh, CBN and diamonds. So we have listed them from left to right here. And to better understand this diagram and the ones on the following slides, I just remember two properties. So they will help you better understand and the comparison. So one is the hardness and the other is the toughness. So in this case, as we move from left to right, from high speed steel to uncoated carbides up to diamond, the hardness increases, so does the wear resistance, and so does the cutting speed. So we have discussed it already that the more the hardness is, the more uh, the cutting speed that we can achieve, more will be the material remo removal rate, so more will be the productivity. Uh, but of course, this uh, increased hardness and increased cutting speed is at some cost. So cost is also increasing as we are moving from left to right from HSS to diamond. On contrary, as we are moving from left to right, uh, the toughness, the impact strength, the chipping resistance and thermal shock resistance are reducing. So in other words, we can say that the highest toughness or impact strength or chipping resistance is achieved uh, using high speed steel cutting tools and it gradually reduces as we move from, uh, from left to right. Uh, this graph is also showing almost the same information. So on the X axis is the strength and toughness and on the Y axis is hot hardness and wear resistance. So you could see, uh, so you could see that HSS is having the highest strength and toughness. And as you move uh, to carbides and to oxide, and finally to, to diamond and uh, CBN, the toughness is reducing. But uh, this diamond and CBN are having the highest hot hardness and wear resistance. And as you move downward toward HSS, the hardness uh, and hot hardness and wear resistance reduces. So here we have some numerical values, so you could, you could quickly go through them. So if we move from HSS to carbides and finally to, to the ceramics and then CBN and diamond, so you could see that hardness gradually increases from 60, 65 HRC to even uh, to the higher values. And uh, uh, in, in, in contrary to that, the transfer rupture strength or the toughness, in other words, reduces as, as we move down. So HSS, for example, has a range of about 4,100 megapascal. And for, for diamond and CBN, it is around 1,000 megapascals. So here we are comparing, again, the hardness as well as hot hardness. So you could see that for, for high speed steel, after certain temperature somewhere over here, the hardness gradually uh, reduces, but carbides and ceramics are more stable at higher temperatures as compared to HSS. So they maintain their hardness better at higher temperatures as compared to HSS. So as an overall summary, we discussed some cutting tool materials and their, their properties. So we discussed HSS, uncoated carbides, coated carbides, ceramics, CBN, and diamond. And this is the main takeaway that the harder the cutting tool material, the higher the cutting speed achievable. As a result, the higher the material removal rate and hence increase in the productivity or more uh, jobs can be processed in lesser time. Thank you very much.